my name is Gino Yockler, owner of Florida Water Analysis. Today I want to talk a little bit about the differences between a no salt water conditioning system and a traditional water softening system. Uh, we'll start with the no salt water system. Uh, there's a lot of them out there in the market. Uh, actually, some companies even say that they're no salt water softeners, uh, but the only real water softening is when you remove uh, things like uh, calcium and magnesium and replace it with either sodium or potassium. That's water softening. So anything else is not water softening, just to be clear. So what the no salt water conditioning system does is the first stage is your carbon. And this particular one from Florida Water Analysis has catalytic carbon. So it's a very high grade of carbon that will remove uh, things like taste, odor, chlorine, and even chloramines, which is a mixture of ammonia and bleach. So that's a more difficult thing to remove. So we use catalytic carbon. It's a very, very high grade of carbon. You can see here. The second stage is your anti-scaling media, which is going to convert your calcium uh, bicarbonates into calcium carbonate. Calcium being the main thing that causes hardness in water. Okay, So that's the no salt water conditioning system, which by the way is also non-electric. All right, so this is the ion exchange water conditioning system. This has resin, carbon, and a little bit of granules at the bottom. Uh, so this is a mixed bed, and, and some systems out on the market today, are, they're just water softeners. Um, I can think of some big names, but we'll, we'll spare that. Um, so you're looking at ion exchange only, and that'll just take out your calcium, magnesium, and manganese, which is a good thing to do. Um, but if you're on city water, you wanna also remove the chlorine. So just like in the no salt water conditioning system, this also has that very high grade, that expensive catalytic carbon to remove the chloramines and taste, odor, and chlorine. So those two items are the, doing the main job, the resin and the carbon, and this particular one is metered. So the water flows through the control valve and spins a, a, a meter, and as it gets to the top of its gallonage, it regenerates in the evening when you're not using water. So that's the difference between the ion exchange water conditioning system and the no salt water conditioning system. Thanks for checking out our video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you really liked it, share it with your friends. If you have questions or comments, leave them below and check us out at floridawateranalysis.com or Facebook. Thanks again.